Hello guys, welcome back to my channel PTK. Today I'm going to show you how to make a maze in scratch. It's going to be like episodes, just adding more things to a project. And if you don't don't want, I mean don't have scratch, you're going to go to the offline or online. The links are being given in the description below. So let's get started. Now you can see this is like a maze small maze first maze was part of the maze here see the green flag we had to go here without touching the black if you touch you won't get bounced back so now i'm just pressing the green flag here and i have to move with our arrow keys cool arrow keys now if i go press okay you can see that we are actually getting bounced see like a bouncing effect now if i go here without touching i touched it now if i go here now if i go back you, know, you won now how to make this simple easy project and next is going to be more added but how can you make this now let's start now before we go we had to delete the scat we don't want this cat over here so delete now now we are actually going to make first the sprite now how do you make which sprite we should take let us how do like now if i go to ball here like i want to like the ball you saw so now let's let me choose the ball here ball ball so where is the ball tennis ball soccer ball yeah ball i don't like this ball yeah it looks so i don't like it so i'm going to paint one i'll show you how to paint no you have to like don't press anything just keep this cursor there and like hovering on it and go to which looks like a paint brush called paint press it now you go to co you go costumes on your sprite sprite one it shows now i'm going to make a red ball it should be red so now so if i press this keep it full here so as i like place something colors to which so i like red now here the problem is the outline should be red because we are going to give a if can if touch red like if touch this color of like the like the walls the outline will be different than the color inside so so you have to choose this and for that also now as here it's red here like it's full red outline also red now let i had to choose red now now let me start now as this is a circle circle wait i have forgotten i had to choose this also red is it the same color yeah it is now if i press oh it's not a perfect circle here do it so i'm just going to select it press this select it and delete it but how to make a perfect circle it takes so much time this like we can use the shift you have to hold shift and drag it will make a perfect circle now shift holding shift now perfect circle now i want to make a small circle so i had to delete this now let me go so let me go 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 no hold here circle holding shift now you can see it now it remember to go to the middle not like this go to nose one more like here this cursor and move it now it's yeah now go 1 2 3 4 5 6 now now you can see this is small and this is 100 so we want like this big ball you would see i have made it 80 here this is already small so now let me just make it bigger just to be more seen now I don't want this big. So as I made it 80, let's make it 80. Now 
Now I have made it 80. Let me make it more smaller. 70. This could be okay. Now let me make it 60. Yeah, this is more okay for me. Now, did you see the walls I have showed you? Let's make it as a background. So, how do you make your own background? Now, go to stages here. Now, if you go backdrops, I can't delete this. I don't want this background only. So, when I press here, hover over it. I mean, like, keep the cursor and don't press anything. Paint. Now, delete this backdrop. If you wish, if you want, but I'm going to delete it. Now, press fill and keep it here. Same for the outline or your color you want. The color should be same. If you want the same color, like throw something like here, here, here. Like that if you chose. You can use this and choose the color you want. Now let me. Now let me like black only. Same here, same here. Now as same way. Now you can see. If you press shift, do you think shift, it will make a perfect rectangle. I mean, tr a square. So here, now, I don't want this right now. Now, so I'm going to, like, con now I deleted it. Now, so don't press shift, now hold. Now, I want it to be, like, on the right side. Like, you can see here, it's, you can see this part right here. Now, you can see this part right here. So let's make the same thing here. So if the ball, let's imagine if the ball is here, I have to make it here. Yes, now we have made it. The ball is now here. So let me move it as it's not that right. Yeah, now here. Now we have to make like at the bottom, like that's how I did, or you can make your own pass. We'll make it simple. Now, keep enough space for our ball. So, if I move here, it's not enough. So, now if I go back to the backdrop we have kept here. Move. Now, okay. Let me press here. Delete this part. Now, go back here. Now, go back here. Now, let me keep down a little bit. Now, if it's safe, I keep here. This is kind of okay, but not that okay. So now, if I move here, yeah, this is more okay. Now, now let's make somewhere here. So like a stop point here. No, like like a wall here, so that it can't go directly here and go there. No, let's start from here. Move till here. Uh, let me make it big little bit to make it more seen. So let me decrease the size like this. Now, so it should be able to go here and here and do our rectangle here. But you can see this is too big, large here. If I decrease, yes. Now it's here better. Now we have done the backdrop. Did, did you know that, guys? We had done the backdrop. Now let's go to the core of this red. Now you can see the if you go to the coordinates here, x is 200, whereas y is 150. Negative 200, 150. Now, so when green flag kick, it should go to that part. That's why I have moved it here. So for me, it's negative 200 and 150. So when green flag click, motion blocks, it's where. Now, it will say go to X and Y. As it updates, wherever our sprite is, that sprite location is on the coordinate. X is negative 200, right? And Y is 150, which is also right. When green flag clicked, it should go here. Now, how do you use for the arrow keys? Now, you know it's a circle. So, it's not that much required. But, in scratch, it's very required to go like that. Now, so if we go events here when space click key pressed 
now you have four here for all four arrow keys up down right left now you can see it's up now it should point in the direction when app arrow press point in direction o now remember whenever you go direction like this it oh wait let me see the problem yeah now you have to press these two buttons now now here point in direction zero you can see this is zero here if you go here you can see it is zero here so let me go back to 90 point in direction zero now that means it's pointing up and move 10 steps up now point in direction 90 as it goes means showing right and move 10 move 10 steps no down arrow it's come so it's actually 180 steps as means it should to show down if i keep it here one eighty. no left arrow it's opposite the point in direction it's negative 290 you can write it also as 270 but in scratch it shows as negative 290 now move 10 steps negative 290 now you can see all is done so now now let's make like the bouncing effect here now so whenever green flag is clicked let's see it's working it's working guys now when green flag clicks it should do this forever now if i go to if okay okay no it's not required here now when green flag clicked if if touching the black color here now if touching the black color now you can see it's showing green here i want to show this how to change it no there'll be some yeah here it's not showing right now i think it will yeah it will show here no this black color show i select it now it's touching the black color here it would a bouncing effect means means negative away that means going backwards means it goes in a negative number so move 10 steps but in a negative way so why give so negative so negative 10 steps now let me change this back to 150 now now you can see 150 now you have done if give the bouncy effect bouncing effect now now you can see it had done the part here in the in for this right one let's take any difference see now it's not working as green flag click now you see what happening here are you getting the point i said remember before we have to use forever it only checks one time after green flag click so here forever forever i have to press forever get forever keep it inside and now you can see it working now you can see it's a bouncing effect nice now when i showed you here there is actually a green flag like this green part here you can see so how to get the green now I, you can make it any color so i made it green so hover over the like the cat one sprite one and paint now here we have to make i keep it green like it's like a hole in mario that's why i keep it so now 
keep this up here keep this up here no green no green no here is a darker shade of it yes now right so our outline should be the same so first let me make notes so i'm not going to dice delete this i basically press shift now if i go back here i'm going to make it smaller right now but you can see it's showing black here so here so what i wanted to do is make the outline here this one yeah now it's showing now it's showing green now let me make it smaller by making like this and like this now let me keep it like here like at the end now let us do what code it will do so it's very small code small code when green flag clicked for ever if here if it's required if the red is the sensing it's such it will touching the player now here what's the player you would ask so i call this as the player and call it as next move because next we are going to make like more backgrounds to make it more difficult challenging so player touching player then what it should say it should say what it is so i think say if we take say hello let us say you won for 2 seconds so we are done now let's start our game maze game i mean so now if i down arrow oh my god that's a big mistake now if it touches this it will move so if i come here oh my god i should move down really yes you won so this is the end of today's episode and video for now bye bye